Um, okay, so I would now like to introduce Dr. Lynn McDonald, the Executive Director of Pain, Neurology, and VI Next, if I got that right, <laughs> at Regeneron Pharmaceuticals, where she is responsible for developing genomic technologies for the treatment of human diseases. Specifically, Dr. McDonald has played a major role in developing Regeneron's humanized mouse strain, which has been used to develop fully human antibodies that can rapidly be translated into treatments for human diseases. That's pretty incredible that some mouse out there is like, just like you and me. <laughs> um, in her spare time, Dr. McDonald plays on the women's ice hockey team in Westchester, where she has served as captain and helped to organize that group. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Lynn McDonald. Thank you for that kind introduction. I was a little surprised to hear about the hockey team. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to be out there. Um, first, I want to thank the Westchester County Association. It's definitely an honor to be recognized. And to my other honorees, congratulations. Um, I've been inspired so far by stories, and I feel very privileged to be in such great company. Uh, to my Regeneron team, some of whom are with me today, um, I want to thank you for your support. I have two special people with here, um, here with me today, Neil Stahl, who's EVP of Research and Development, and Drew Murphy, who's our senior um, VP of research. Both Drew and Neil have consistently been there um, for me for over 16 years. Uh, they've mentored me, and they've given me both guidance as well as the room to grow and to innovate. For that, I thank you. Um, to the entire Regeneron team, which um, now is uh, 4,000 people globally, this award wouldn't be possible if I hadn't been working um, with such a great team. I'm a huge proponent of teamwork and collaboration, and we certainly have a great group of people who have a relentless passion for science as well as for helping others. I credit mo much of my success to our company culture as well as our highly talented staff. In addition to teamwork, I want to highlight the importance of getting out of your comfort zone and challenging yourself. For those that know me, standing up here today and talking about myself is definitely out of my comfort zone. <laughs> Um, as you heard in the introduction, I've um, contributed a lot to the genomic technologies at Regeneron. However, one of my biggest challenges at Regeneron came when I was given the opportunity to um, lead the pain and neurology group, in addition to leading my technology development group. Even though I wasn't a neuroscience um, by training, I made the decision to accept the challenge and to extend myself into a new field and to learn. As a result of embracing this challenge, not only were we able to develop technology of the velocity in mice, but we were able to use this, these mice to develop a novel potential treatment for pain, which is now advanced to clinical trials. So for all the students out there that are aspiring in the STEM field, I want to encourage you to always have confidence in yourself and to see opportunity at every challenge. Certainly, the STEM fields are challenging and definitely frustrating at times. However, they are increasingly important in our world, and they advance almost daily. So regardless of your field of interest, Technology will be critical in achieving your goal and making meaningful difference in society. The STEM fields are exciting and they're dynamic, and you'll never be bored. Um, as you pursue your understanding and advancement in technology, hard, risk, uh, hard, hard work, risk-taking, and perseverance are so important. Rarely do new things that we try in science or technology work, especially at the first attempt. So it's important to learn from your failures, take a step back, analyze, and try again. It's sort of like solving a puzzle. You just got to keep trying to find the right approach. The last point I want to make is about mentorship. I wouldn't be today, here today without the guidance and support of many of my mentors um, along the way. So look for opportunities to learn from others and, and ask for help, especially when you have failures. I can't tell you how many times my parents, my friends, or my colleagues have encouraged me to search for the solution for a puzzle. However, Remember that in the end, it's you who has to break down the problem into manageable pieces, find the inner strength, the confidence, and the creativity to solve it. Thank you again to the County Association and to Regeneron.